Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Green Rock 2. So last time, we made our way through what we'll call the Forest of Death, because I still don't know the official name. We ran into a bunch of weird wolf thingies that almost murdered us horribly. Then we found a shrine, and it mentioned something about four gems of power. We got one from the boss that we previously killed, so no doubt there's going to be three more around here somewhere. And yeah, we ventured into this dungeon, and we saw a weird leprechaun that ran away from us. I think it's a pretty good overview of what happened here. It was very, very strange. Now, are there any hidden walls around here somewhere? I get the feeling there's probably going to be more than one different type of switch. I think in the first game there was only one on the, like, hidden switches on the walls. There's probably different types that will make sense, but I don't really know. So yeah, we're going to try and be extra careful and check all of the walls, but no doubt I've missed something already because it's kind of what I do. Alright, so we need to key for that gate, which we still don't have, and I'm kind of lost. Didn't we find this before? Wasn't this what was called the nest? Which scares the crap out of me. And I'm pretty sure I hear a rat man. Yes, I do. Well, shit. I was gonna say, I thought I saw a throwing knife go right past. Well, what you gonna show that? Do we want to go back in is the question. Not really. So yeah, we'll come back to that. Yeah, shit. And I still hear more rat men over here. Hello? I don't see them in there. And there's like a weird giant with stone of doom. Right, well, are you around here? You don't seem to be. And yes, once again, I'm still checking for hidden switches, but like I say, there's bound to be some around here somewhere, just like last time, but I get the feeling I'm probably going to mix it up. Philosopher's Stone. Okay. Oh, it's the room where we saw the giant stone. I guess that makes sense. So, is that a teleporter? Yes. Right, there's a teleporter in there, and we haven't opened that yet. What do we do with the giant stone? This is bound to be a puzzle. I don't seem to be able to move it. Attacking does nothing. Well, hey, we found a mushroom. That's something. That's not exactly what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Yeah, don't know what to do with that. Maybe we activate it somewhere else and come back. I don't know. Hey, we found something. Oh, it's bread. Okay, well, that's handy, because we're kind of running low on food. At least I think we are. But yeah, we just have a pressure plate here. Now, no doubt we can probably put something through the bars, kind of like we just took the bread through the bars. I guess that's like a tutorial to teach you that you can do that. Maybe. What do you do? I don't... Oh. Oh. Okay, so it powered up the stone. Well, all right then. And we'll take that torch. Now, what's down here? There's a machete. Are you better than what we have? It's a light weapon. It's probably better? I think it's like marginally better than the rapier. Yeah, I guess we probably want to keep the back bite and maybe get rid of the rapier and keep the machete as well. I don't really know. Yeah, we'll go with that for now, but maybe we'll change it at some point. The machete doesn't have a special attack, but special attack kind of takes forever to use anyway. And there's another one of those weird stand-up jug things in there that no doubt we want, but probably going to be some kind of a secret way of getting to it. I would imagine a switch. So I'm checking around all the walls here, but yeah, I don't see that. So for now, we'll just skip it and we'll come back to it. So what? Oh, okay, we can push the stone now. I'm guessing we probably want it on the orange one. I don't seem to be able to pull it though. I, I don't know. Well, I guess for now we can at least move it out of the way and go check in here. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if we can, oh yeah, okay. We can totally push it from that side. Now that makes sense. Right, so what do you do on the orange thing? Ooh, okay, you open the gate so we can go in the teleporter. Well, before we do that, what's in here? Apparently, nothing. Okay. That's strange. In fact, that's very strange. Why would there be an empty room there with absolutely nothing in it? There's got to be something, surely. Hello? Hidden switch? There's got to be a switch. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, good. I'm glad I came back to that. Oh, great, a rat man of death. Fan freaking tastic. Yeah, you better run away. You heard my clicky clack of my gats. What, what are you doing, dude? He's. He's dumping. But no, 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 no. Really? That still hit Ornstein? You freaking dick. Okay, well. We kind of have to tank him here. Well, I guess we can move out of the way. Let's just, you know, actually play it properly. I... Really? God damn it, this gun sucks ass. I assume there are better guns, but like this one. Keeps missing, and even when it does hit, it doesn't really do that much damage, and it uses ammo. Well, at least we set some life back in Ornstein, but Arturus is still nearly dead. If you could die, buddy. Oh, shit. Die before Artorius. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
we all survived for once. That might be the first rat man we've killed and actually had that happen. Or, you know, second or something. Right, so what do we get in here? We get some lockpicks. Yeah, I guess we'll give them to you and... Ooh, okay, a pretty cool looking piece of chest armor. And it's light armor. Interesting. See, here's the thing, just like uh, the mask that we found, it says if you don't have light armor proficiency, it lowers your evasion. I don't know if that's a worthy trade-off, it's kind of hard to say. I feel like maybe it is, but it's just much better if you don't have to do that trade-off. Maybe it's entirely not worth it and evasion's better than just sheer protection. I have no bloody idea, so yeah, we'll go with that for now. If he starts getting destroyed, then I guess we can always unequip it. Maybe. Okay, well, anyway, it looks like we're done here, so let's grab this torch and rest the balls up, because we're basically nearly dead. And, yeah, in fact, wait a minute. I do want to check around this room, because we haven't actually looked here. You never know, there might... Oh. Okay, well, we found a new type of switch. Which appears to have just shot me in here? Why would I want to do that? Uh, I don't think it did anything else. It's... No, I was gonna say, maybe it did something somewhere else in the dungeon, but then, like, how the hell would we get out of here to go access that? Unless it permanently stays open or activated or whatever? I don't really know. But yeah, it's weird. So at least now we know there are different types of switches. But yeah. Doesn't seem to have done anything other than shut me in here. So frankly, that sucks. Any time, Mr. Duel, we got all freaking day. Okay, now, did we go down here? In fact, yes, we did, because this is where the the, uh, the pressure plate was that we used to power up the Philosopher's Stone, or at least what I assume is the Philosopher's Stone. You never know, maybe it's not actually referencing that. Now, we know there's a secret around here, or at least uh, a place with some booty that we can't actually get to, so... Assumably, is going to be another secret switch, and at least now we know what the other type looks like. Or at least one of the other types, so... We're going to check around here just to make sure, but... Yeah, I kind of get the feeling there probably isn't, because we did already look. But again, at least now we know a specific new type of switch, just in case I overlooked it last time. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You'd think if it was anywhere, it would be like right here next to it. But yeah, I don't see a goddamn thing. I want you. How do I get to you? That sucks. Maybe we go from somewhere else in the dungeon. Maybe we just can't get to it. I have no bloody idea. Well, screw it. I don't see a damn thing, so we're just gonna go back here. Now, don't we have to go in the teleporter? Yes. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else we haven't been yet. There's that one room with the lock on it, but again, we need the key for that, so... Yeah, assumably this is how we get to that. I don't really know. This might be a secret, but... I kind of doubt it. What's up with this? Uh, Apparently nothing, at least not yet. Any secrets? See, this is the problem, man. Once you know there are secret walls, you're like everywhere. It becomes an addiction. <laughs> Oops. I totally meant to do that. Oh, great. There's a rat man over there. And we're taking a bunch of full damage. Okay. And once he's bleeding, when did that happen? Well, this could be going better, you know? So, uh, yeah. We're we'll going to switch out the pistol because it seems really crappy and... Oh, come on. You were standing in that, sir. Uh, I call shenanigans. Well, at least we have a big room to fire a rat body in. Now, how, what the hell? Did my torch die? I guess my torch died. That's good timing. Well, shit. Seriously, there's another rat man? Oh, this, this is terrible. This is just terrible. We are doomed. Like, we are straight up doomed. We need to get down here so we only have to fight one at a time. So then that means we have to tank them. And really? I want to fight the other guy. Ah, shit. I think we're going to die. No, no, no! Why didn't you use the damn special attack on Then You suck! Okay. It's time to panic. I, I, I think we had that. I don't, I don't really know what I, I... Son of a bitch. I don't really know what I can do here. We're gonna go down fighting, goddammit. We, we are gonna go down. Yeah. We're screwed. Time to reload me, thanks, because we stand literally no goddamn chance. Did I... Did I break the game? Hello? I can't tell if it's taking a really long time to reload or if I broke the game. But yeah, I can't figure out if the rat men are OP or if my characters are just too underpowered for this point in the game. Like, maybe we shouldn't have come here yet. I don't really know. But luckily I saved it before we fell down that pit. And this time, we're not going to fall down the pit. Because 
That really sucks. Right, what's over here? Okay, we got a mushroom and a key. I assume that's for the lock that we found earlier. Don't really know. Okay, so... Ooh. Oh, shit. It's just one thing after another. Like, holy crap. Well, at least these dudes aren't as tough as the rat man. Like, we fought one earlier, we killed... Really? Well, now there's three, that kind of changes things. Okay, there's just two now. And they're on the same square still. So we can... There's another one. What the hell, game? What the hell? We can dipsy do to these two if we can, like, you know, just keep using shock and kill them quickly. We stand a chance. But yeah, we're dying pretty fast. Son of a bitch. Pretty sure the third... Yeah, the third dude... Oh, come on, man. Well, crap. Now we're trapped in the corner. Have to kill him very quickly. Our Taurus is about to die. We have potions. Where the hell are the potions? Do we not have potions? I thought we had potions. Son of a bitch. Hang in there, buddy. Okay, you did. You didn't hang in there. Well... At least the, the duo behind him is nearly dead, so if we can kill this guy... Okay, thank you. Damn it! I tried to move out the corner. We're screwed. We're absolutely... Oh, come on, man. I need that shock. Like, it's necessary. Thank you. Can one of you, like, die? Seriously? Oh, thank you. Okay. I think we can live. We have energy potions. We may have to use them. So, uh... Yeah, we're gonna chug one of those. Just because if we don't... Oh, my God. One dude is left alive. Holy shit. Hardest game ever. Well, look on the bright side. We won the fights. But, uh, you know, just barely. And we got some new equipment, so at least that's something. And we also have the key. Progress is being made here, but, you know, very sloppily. And I doubt we need, like, 14,000 shields. I don't think there's going to be any way we can sell equipment. I don't think there was in the first game, so I doubt there is in this one, but you never know, maybe there is. So we'll take it for now, and we can always check it later if we need the space. But yeah. That really sucked. But hey, at least we got a new weapon out of it, a blowpipe, which we can use right now. We can't use a special attack yet, but I think we only need one more level in missile weapons. There's a lot of different freaking range weapons, like holy shit, I don't know which ones to use. I mean, like, that seems cool, but we just leveled up in firearms. I, I don't know, man. I just don't know. I guess we can... Excuse me, I guess we can try it for now. And... Assumably you need the darts equipped to be able to fire it. Kind of like the sling and the rocks. Which also seem kind of like a bust. And yeah, we got a new axe for Artorius. I do want to test to see if we can dual wield those. I doubt it. It's probably only light weapons. I don't really know though. Maybe you can do it with heavy when you get more proficient at them. But right now he kind of sucks. Again, hard to say. Okay, sometime later, I have rearranged the crap out of our equipment and inventories. I think we're ready to continue now. We've had some pants. Okay, who needs pants? You kind of do. They're better, so I guess we'll switch them out. Do Wait, what's the still not wearing any pants? I had no idea. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, well, at least we have pants on our front people now. But the back ones stay in God Jack shit. And again, I really kind of want to check around here just to make sure there's no secret wars. There probably isn't, but you never freaking know. Hey! Okay, there is. Is there something in here to murder me? I really hope not. I don't hear anything. Hello? Hey! Okay, so it is a secret, and we got a new hat. A reed helmet. It looks stylish. Again, it's got good stats, but if you're not good with light equipment... Lowers your evasion a lot. Again, I don't know if the trade-off's worth it. I have no bloody idea. But yeah, we'll roll with it for now. Like I say, we can always trade it out if we need to. If we start just getting destroyed because we have no evasion. I really have no idea. Right, so we're on the other side of this thing, so... I would imagine we're done in this room. You never know, there might be more secrets. But I somewhat doubt it. Hey! We found a sack. What's in the sack? A compass. Interesting. Don't know what on earth we need that for. It doesn't actually say. I mean, like, it points to something, but what does it point to? Oh, we found a note. Okay, so this dude's buried something in Twigroot Forest, which I guess is the name of the Forest of Death. Between the two lanterns. I don't remember lanterns, but, you know, we'll go back and dig that shit out when we can actually leave. I don't think we can leave right now, because... 
When we entered, there was that trap door that said something like, no going back, so I guess we have to find an alternate way out. Because, yeah, right now, I don't think we can backtrack the same way that we came. Again, we have two sets of lockpicks now. What do you do? Oh, you let me out. Well, fair enough, then. And we'll also take this torch whilst we're here. We probably already have, like, way too many goddamn torches, but better that than not enough. I still feel like there's something you can do with this. But I guess not. I was thinking, like, maybe we could raise it somehow and then drop down the pit that... Wait, what? Really? Found another secret, I guess. And a shit ton of zombies, so we're just gonna shut that. Cause, yeah. Three dead people. Not a good idea. I'm gonna go back to the save crystal and then we'll go take that on. Okay, game has been saved, power restored. Let's do this shit. Yeah, let's leave with fireball, cause, yeah, it's gonna hit everyone and they're weak to it. Now, last time we fought these dudes, they really weren't that bad. Is that dude wielding his own arm? That's badass! Yeah, they, they seem to die fairly quickly, so... I think we're gonna be okay here, especially compared to the right man of death. Holy shit. Oh, you're still alive. Well, well you were. But now you're dead. You mummy son of a bitch. Hey! Okay. So we found this booty. At least now we know we figured out how to get to that. And it's a potion of, potion of vitality. Gotta assume that boosts your vitality. Don't know who's got the most. Apparently you don't, so we'll give it to you. Alright, we got another energy potion. We'll stick that on our mage. Good, they do stack. And... Anything else around here? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Secrets. I don't see any secrets. But yeah, apparently they're bloody everywhere. Now, assumably we have to go use our newly acquired key to open up the locked door. However... We can also go to that place called the Nest where there was a bunch of rat men. Here's the question though. Do we want to do that? I mean, I guess so, because we can technically go there before the, the locked door. I think. So maybe we should go there first. I don't really know. Well, it's right here, but... Yeah, I don't want to go in here, man. The rat men are dangerous. So yeah, screw it. We'll go this way first, even though, let's be honest here, probably going to be rat men in this direction as well. I have no idea! And yeah, we gotta save it just in case, cause screw doing that shit again. Now, what does the special attack on this bad boy do? Double damage, apparently. But yeah, it seems like it takes forever to actually execute a special attack, so... I mean, I'm sure situationally it's handy, but generally speaking it just seems quicker and easier, and somewhat more beneficial just to spam attacks. I don't really know. I guess if you want to finish something off quickly and you know you're not going to get a second swing, you're only going to go well before you die or something, like as a final stand, it might be a good idea. It's hard to say, but also it could really not pay off if it kills you before you get to do that swing. Then you're screwed. What the hell is that? Oh, it's always one of the power gems that we need. Ew, okay. So that's going to be our second one, so we need two more after that. Now how the hell do we get out of this situation? There's got to be a switch, surely. Oh, it's right there. Holy shit. I'm blind. And this room looks dangerous. What up with this? Is that the leper? That's the leprechaun. Kiss me, Clover. Okay, buddy, if you could... Wait, what? Are you a friendly leprechaun? I don't trust you. Well, he's not attacking me. Are you leading me to your pot of gold? I don't know what the hell you're doing. I got son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. So, wait, where the hell are we? Shrine of the Glutton. Uh, does it want me, does it want me to put food here? I mean, I guess so. But yeah, it seems like we fell straight into the leprechaun's trap. So, hey. Well, that works. I don't know why I needed three pieces, but I guess you won't be a glutton with only one. And. I see something. Oh, it's a shambling zombie. Ah, shit. I see another one on the left. In fact... Holy crap! There's like nine zombies, man! It's a zombie lemon party! We're gonna die. Again. Ah, oh, shit. Well... Maybe we can kite them down this hallway. Why is Ornstein bleeding again? Is it like every time we fall down a pit or something? Because I went back to the safe crystal, they restored him. What is with you? In fact, it's not even Ornstein, it's gone. What the hell am I thinking? Either way, stop bleeding. I'm fairly confident we can kill this crowd. But there's also a crowd behind them, and there, there could be even more than those. Okay. 
That crowd is down. Down. Where is a fifth, dude? Seriously? Well, I guess like a tenth? Jesus, man. How many zombies? It's insane. It's like a freaking dro- Really? There are more behind me? There's one behind him? What the hell? I'm dead again. There's like no way I'm gonna- They just keep coming. They just keep coming. There is no way I'm gonna survive this. I'm damn well gonna try. But we're screwed. If we can get rid of this guy and go back in the other room, we have more room to move here. But there's also a dude behind him. Son of a bitch. This is bad. This is like really bad. Okay, you're dead. Really? Oh my god. We got, we're, we're dead. We're dead again. What the hell? I, I don't know. What the hell, man? Okay. Well, this time, we don't get to stand on the trap door and have the leprechaun drop us down there. We're just gonna try and murder him horribly. But anyway, I'm gonna wait to hear we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Grimrock 2.